What's good and what's poppin' Realty One Group Elite? It's your girl Maya here, back with another video. Y'all, we have a brand new series called The Elite Spotlight. I'm so excited because today we're in the parking lot of Epidemic Ales to check out this amazing local company. Y'all, you've probably heard about it before, but let's get into it. Let's check out OG Tacos. Y'all, I'm so excited to try this place out. They do a bunch of different locations. They have a food truck. They also have this tent here. And we're also here in a parking lot at a local brewery as well. So, so excited. Y'all, the owner told me that they are super well known for their quesadilla tacos, the ramen, and between us, here at the brewery, they have quesadilla burritos. I'm so excited. In this entire episode, we're gonna be talking to the owner, Oz. We're gonna be also talking about Giovanni, who is his cousin who works with us. Uh, he was able to get this interview today and we're so excited. We're also gonna be trying the food at the end. So let's get into it. Made it to the front, and we're here with the two most iconic people that I know. We're here with Giovanni, who's one of our agents at Rosie One Group Lee. He's been with us for a few months now, and he's, of course, one family. I'm also here with the amazing Oz, who is the owner of OG Tacos. I know y'all have seen them on Instagram, and I can't wait for you guys to get into this interview. We're gonna see around all of the amazingness that is OG Tacos and try some food. So, are y'all excited? Absolutely. Yeah, let's, let's do go. it. <laughs> so, I'm here with Oz the owner of OG Tacos. I have a couple questions for you before we get the full tour of OG Tacos. Absolutely. Um, but you have an amazing business and you're like famous on Instagram. So <laughs> tell me what that feels like. What is that energy? Like how did this become what it is right now? Man, if I could be completely honest, is, um, sometimes it feels surreal, you know. Hmm. It's, uh, we're a small family business. Hmm. Never thought that it would get, you know, as big as it's gotten. Hmm. And, uh, but, uh, you know, just coming in here and, and setting up and like every day, you know, when we have to be here and just doing what we do is just, also just kind of like a stress reliever for me, you know, just kind of like yes. um, we enjoy what we do, you know, at least for uh, speaking for me and my family and my yes. wife and uh, something that we've, uh, a dream that we always had to do, you know, and it just, it just so happened that it happened sooner than we thought you know so. yeah so when did your business start how long have you been here in the bay serving up the most sure. amazing freaking birria tacos in the world <laughs> like let's be clear on that because i've heard nothing but amazing reviews on the food yeah uh so we started about uh three and a half years ago wow and we actually started right on the side of the road with a push cart and oh uh God. it, it kind of just took off from there i mean wow. we were um originally started in uh, west pittsburgh um, where we originally um, had our cart. Uh, we were there for about uh, six months, and then we got shut down by the health department, of course. <gasps> oh, we, no! have no we just kind of just, you know, yeah. doing our thing. Yeah. Um, then kind of took the time right after that to, you know, kind of get all the paperwork done, insurances and all that kind of stuff. And, yes. And, you know, now we're here. It's been taken out. It's yes. been now three, three and a half years. Three and a half years, y'all. Yeah. And so you move locations, right? This is not the only location that you guys come to. Correct. So what are the ones that you go to? So uh, we are typically here at Epidemic Gales um, twice a week, which is oh, Tuesday yeah. and Fridays. Okay. So we do Taco Tuesday and then Fridays. Yeah. Uh, we also do the same uh, pop-up setup at um, the Antioch Flea Market on Saturday mornings. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, we do have a food truck that kind of just rotates between breweries. Ooh. So we do anything from Brentwood, Walnut Creek, Benicia, Sassoon City. Uh, we've gone to Dublin as far as San Francisco. So wow. we, we're kind of all over the place, you know. Yes, <laughs> they are mobile. And yeah. that is how you run a successful business when you have, when everybody has access to you. That is uh, huge. Absolutely. So I love that. So now we're going to go ahead and see the inside. Can yeah, we do absolutely. it? Absolutely. So yes. uh, you'll get to see a little bit of our production here yeah. uh, of our mobile pop-up setup um, okay. again we do have a food truck as well uh, but this is typically what we use 
here at Epidemic Ales just because um, we tend to get pretty busy. Yeah. So uh, we got to ensure that we have enough uh, space, if yes. you will, in the, in the hands to kind of get everything done. So. I'm so excited. Well, it's downtime right now. They're not even open yet. So we're trying to take a deep breath because I know it's going to get crazy, but I'm so glad we get to see the inside. Let's do it. It. And we get to try some food. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right, let's do Absolutely. it. Yes. So <laughs> we finally made it here. We got Giovanni with us to do the tour. So take it away, Oz. This is all you. Yeah, absolutely. So we uh, specialize in beef birria, uh, which is like a slow braised beef that we do. Uh, and that's all we do, honestly. Wow. We, uh, we decided to stick one thing and perfected it and become good at one thing without having too much distraction, if you will. Yeah. And uh, this is where we're at, you know. So um, we again, we do uh, beef birria. Oh, my God. Uh, consomme broth um, <gasps> that we use. Now, a lot of... Uh, uh, the, the new trendsetters and you know people that kind of just yeah. uh, started with birria tacos are thinking of the broth as an actual dip and oh. originally that's not what it was really? so you eat uh, birria like in a stew type so it's like chopped up meat with uh, consomme on it onions and cilantro oh. some lime and it's typically eaten as a soup that's what okay. typically it's about oh. but you know in the last uh, few years it just kind of is yeah. a social media thing where just people it's trendy. Want, exactly. <laughs> people want to use it, use it for, you know, uh, dunking or dipping or whatever it may be, you know, yeah. uh, their tacos. But, um, yeah, like I said, so we do, again, beef birria. Uh, and, again, uh, is the main. Oh, my um, God. <gasps> that looks amazing. So I have Giovanni here. Come on in. Okay. I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite thing to eat? So one of my favorite things to eat here are obviously the tacos de birrias, uh, the quesadillas. Most importantly, the way how I like them is the, with the salsa chile de árbol. You can't go wrong. Um, it's spicy. And people will say, how spicy is it? Uh -huh. It's Mexican spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so that means it's like extra, extra spicy. Uh, so, yeah. so I probably shouldn't try it because I don't really like spicy like that. So <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just like put my pinky in it and try it like that. Yes. So what else is the operation behind all of this? I mean, I heard yeah. you, this is all your family too. That, that is correct. So Amazing. I have uh, my brothers, cousins, uh, uh, more cousins. Wow! And, yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody. Yeah. Can we like so, look over there? I want to see absolutely. like the action. All right, come on in, cameraman. Sure. Let's we'll meet you over there, cam cameraman, because y'all, this is so exciting. On the bus, on the bus. Ooh. So right now they're uh, they're making some quesadilla tacos. Uh, again, it's just a crispy uh, tortilla, melt the cheese, top with the meat. Uh, and then your option of onions and cilantro, salsa comes on the side. Um, now, uh, very uh, peculiar thing about our tacos is uh, we do double tortilla. And a lot of people have asked why, and it's uh, nobody likes a soggy taco. So mm -hmm. we want to ensure that it has double tortilla to ensure that it keeps its form, uh, you know, until you take a bite. and. Uh, uh, it, it is dipped in a little bit of um, oil, that way the tortilla can get crispy. Uh, and it, again, it, just with all the cheese and all the meat, since the a meat is cooked in its juices, uh, it tends to get the tortilla really soggy. Yeah. Uh, so we do double tortillas to ensure it keeps uh, yeah. it, uh, its form, you know, so. Oh my gosh. Uh, like literally, yeah. as I'm standing here, I was listening to you talk. I'm being respectful, yeah. but I couldn't stop staring. I can't <laughs> lie. Like you're talking like, yeah, uh-huh, that's really interesting. Cause right. that looks so freaking good. And okay, we have the cook, we got the chef. Yeah. But who's like really running this thing? Like who's taking the orders? Like who, who can I, who can I meet? Cause yeah, I know absolutely. that there's somebody in charge here that really gets it done. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> yes, we, we do have a few people. And, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll get to introduce you. And they may be yeah. a little bit busy, but, um, so you'll probably see them. They're kind of with a customer right now, but Cece, she's our, uh, she's our front store manager, if you will. She wow. kind of just deals with all, uh, the front operations and, uh, in the back you'll see, uh, that's my wife. So oh, hi, she's kind of here supervising, <laughs> you know, a little bit. Yes, <laughs> so, that yeah, is amazing. It's, and it's a, it's a full blown, I, I mean, we, we come yeah. here and we build a full on kitchen, you know, mobile kitchen. Yes. So we have yes. everything from, you know, 
people that you know attend to the customers and, yeah. and get some uh, like this filling up the consommes and yes. you know so it's uh it's quite an operation it really is it is a full operation not only do they have food but I saw the pictures of all of the drinks um, yeah. there's a whole entire drink section you guys like yeah. what what is this I'm yeah. very excited so, <laughs> so this is something that uh, uh, my wife kind of came up with um, uh, very typical in the place where we're at, we're from, uh -huh. which is uh, uh, southern part of Mexico. Okay. They do like a prepared uh, squirt. Essentially, what it is is they rim the cup with some tahini, uh, and then uh, they put um, ice and the drink, and then top it wow. with tahini. So that's kind of what our, what we did. Uh, the chamoy that we use. I love chamoy. Is, um, yes. Is homemade, my wife's recipe. Oh my god! So not store bought. She kind of prepares it to kind of top the rim, uh, it, and it's really become like a, a staple. If you yes. will, a lot of people come just for these. So yeah, that uh, is amazing. Yeah. Oz, you are seriously running like a mecca of great. Like this is <laughs> literally blowing my mind. I'm so excited that we got to meet yeah, you today absolutely. and talk about OG Tacos and the greatness that you've created in your family. I think what's really amazing, and I want you to just give you huge kudos is it's family run like yeah, you don't absolutely. see that very often anymore you don't see family owned business and family ran businesses where people cousins yeah. cooking uncles cooking everybody is involved and yeah. i just want to say that that is amazing I and i just it. want to just give you lots of kudos yeah, for that you. so thank you. um that. yeah i hope you enjoyed this tour of og tacos the inside and out um Oz, i'm getting really hungry so Absolutely. i think it's time to eat yeah, i think so. it's time to eat so thank you again for this amazing interview yeah, no and let's get to like the amazing part this interview was great but i'm ready to try the food here we go Look at all this food. Thank you so much, OG Tacos. They gave us all this freaking food, and thank you, Giovanni. Like, I am, my mind is blown, and we're all excited, and we're trying to, like, process this, and I have this amazing taco in my head, and I'm so excited. Oh. Giovanni, you're back. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you guys, I think it's time to try this taco. Here we go. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm going to be a star. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Last it's, not least, oh my god, the sangria. Sangria! Thank not you alcoholic. so much. Not alcoholic, yes, so we can drive home. I tell you, you need to come to OG Tacos because you can get some drink and you can still drive home. Here we go, in the sauce. Ah. Uh. So good. Okay, yum. This is the, what was this? Biria Kila. So, the trick to this is you take the sauce and you pour it over to melt it. I'm just gonna dip it though, because fun fact about me, I hate soggy food. That's a fun fact. But I'm just gonna try this. Maybe I'll try when I get home. Here we go. Dunk it in. Ooh! Let's see. I love my job. I love my job. And then. I think we should try the drink to top it all off. Oh, and there's ramen. Okay, one more thing. Here we go. This is the OG squirt with chamoy that's made from his wife that we heard earlier. And tahin. I'm snorting. It's so good. Here we go. Oh, my God. I've never had anything like this in my life. Oh, my God. It's sweet. It's carbonated. It's tangy. Oh, my God. Oh my god. And lastly, oh, the tent's going. That's how you know it's good. Lastly, is the ramen. Check this out, you guys. I didn't even know that you can make ramen out of birria. Let's see. Oh, god, in my eye. That's how you know it's good. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. It's so good, you guys. Oh my god. You have to to try OG tacos and they are mobile so everybody can have it we're about to dig in and I feel like you guys are interrupting my moment so oh wait before we go let's try the sangria because this was recommended by Giovanni himself okay period here we go it's so good oh my oh my god 
it's so good. I'm like having a freak out. You guys, this is probably the best food I've had in my entire life. And I am not a liar. This is so freaking good. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this amazing video. And I can't wait for you guys to try them and to find them to try it. Y'all, I need my alone time now, for real. Thank you so much. Bye!